Right, what it do? It's your boy Marcel P. Black representing Maroon Music, sold by the man. You are now listening to Black Thoughts. Um, so, this is how it's going to go every time you see it. This is going to be a monthly series shot by my man Antoine Ghost Mitchell. This is what it's going to be. I'm going to let you know what's going on with me, what's going on with the Bad Roots Hip Hop community, what's going on with the artistic community. And I'm going to give you some black thoughts. You know what I'm saying? My perspective, how I see the world via hip hop. And then I'm going to give my shout outs. I'm going to give my shout outs to all my people. And I'm going to shout out my MVPs. I'm up and coming. You got that? Alright, bet. So, what I've been doing, I've been doing a whole lot. Um, Feeding off the energy that, that you know, what I'm saying we ended 2010 with, with the uh, with the with the ciphers and the different shows and the uh, Lyricist Lounge Showcase. You know, I've been doing a lot of shows out of town, been doing a lot of networking, been doing a lot of campaigning for myself. This year alone, I got like four projects coming out. First is the One Love EP. Uh, it's called One Love, a Hate Story. Got a video coming for that as well. Then we got the uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna call it. I'm, I might call it Runaway Slave Hymns. I might call it or just Black Power. It's a collaboration album. I'm doing my partner, uh, Cut Creator. He's out in New Orleans, originally with the United Station in Hammond. I've been going back and forth working on it. When I say, like, I'm not about to normally. Normally, I leak my music early. I'm, <laughs> y'all just gonna hear it when they hear it. When you hear it, like, it's it's gonna be serious. Um, then I got a group album coming out with my partner, uh, Hustler. My partner, Natural. We'll call it Natural Black Hustler. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Produced by. Uh, Hustler produced by my partner Joe. Then I got the looming by the means necessary album. It's gonna come out when it comes out. I'm not gonna rush it. That's my baby. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Produced by uh, Joe from Real Property Entertainment. Uh, did a show in New Orleans, the Sound Clash, on January the 8th. Um, we had the hip hop uh, showcase at B Show 225 this past Thursday. Uh, the, that was the 13th. Yeah. Uh, features from we had Jimmy Jump, Luke St. John, AF the uh, my man Slanksy, he was from New Orleans, and we had ABC The Formula. It was real dope. We had the networking uh, thing this past Monday, which DJ Marquis is going to do every month. Y'all look out for that, so we got 600 main. Um, next Friday, which is January 21st, I'm going to be in Lafayette, Hip Hop in the Flats. I know me and James Jackson going out there, we're going to be representing, and uh, that's pretty much it for January. Um, so by the man got a lot of stuff coming out in February. You know what I'm saying? So just really try to get in, really try to network, trying to do shows, trying to record, being busy. You know, I got a family too. Yeah. But you know, hip hop is, you know, that's gonna be my first love and you know, I'm gonna go where she takes me. So, speaking of first love, so people ask like, where do you get one love, a hate story, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't want to talk about the music. I want to talk about one love from a cultural standpoint. Um, so many times in the music that you hear, be it locally, be it nationally, it's, it's filled with, with, you know, self-hate. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When people say hip-hop, you know, you, you're right. You got Asians, you got you got white people, you got Hispanic people, you know what I'm saying? You got everybody who participates in hip-hop, that makes up the hip-hop nation. Mm -hmm. But when people refer to hip-hop, they talk about black youth culture. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So... <coughs> When I say hip hop, primarily that's what I'm talking about. Because plain and simple, when people when, when Bill O'Reilly talk bad about hip hop, he's not talking about the Japanese kids breakdancing. Mm -mm. He's talking about young black people. So that's what I'm talking about. So so many times within hip hop, it's so violent and filled with self hate, man. All the songs talking about shooting niggas and you know, I'm not even going out to we disrespect our queens or what have you. So like the real love in hip hop is gone. Now I'm not talking about the love for the culture or love for the art, the love within the people. Uh, just to give you a quick history lesson, when hip hop started uh, back in the early 70s, it was uh, the 22nd division of the Black Spades, which was led, led by Kevin Donovan. We now know him as African Bambada. Mm -hmm. And you know, Black Spades was like the toughest gang in New York City. He, he traveled to Africa, came back, he had a different mindset. And he decided that, you know, he wanted to bring all the people together and so they started you know with crews from rival crews you had the thug brothers you had the skulls and the ghetto brothers and all this different you know they called the street families they didn't call them gangs they called the street families back then um to resolve the issues they would battle each other break dancing <laughs> to express themselves they would tag trains and they would tag buildings you know what i'm saying 
you know, and they, they would come together to celebrate and have these big black parties. We had the DJs, we had Cool Herc, yeah, Grandmaster Flag, Grandmaster Cass, and what have you. And then later the MCs came. So they used hip hop. It, it, it was revolutionary. They used, they, they created their own art form to stop the gang violence mm -hmm. and the street violence. Mm -hmm. and, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, and, and they used it to express themselves at a time when when nobody paying attention in the South Bronx, what have you. Right. And now it's a worldwide phenomenon, and it trips me out that, you know, 37 years later, about to be 38 years later, that pretty much when you hear a hip-hop record, or what have you, a rap record, is so much violence and negativity in it, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm not getting on my hard, high horse. I'm a country. If you know me, you know where I'm from. You, 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 know, you know what I've been through. You know what I'm saying? I've... <laughs> Listening to Bloods and Crips tape, listen to A Ball, MJG, you know, listening to Biggie, you know, and, and it was violent stuff, what have you. The artistry is gone from the situation, so that's what makes a difference. But that's neither here nor there. All I'm saying is, let's bring love back. Because when the music stops, last year New Orleans was number one in homicides in the nation. Mm. Last year, Bad News was number five. Mm. So we talk about jigging and Busting people's heads open if they play with us, and but really, that's really happening once the music stops. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying, speaking to hip hop, you know, what I'm saying artistically and as a culture of people, we need love. Who we all into it together, man? Long, as long as we being violent, we, we just enslaving ourselves, man. We just we just giving the one up to the oppressor. You feel me? So that's my black thoughts. All right, one love coming soon. So next, I want to get my shout outs. Shout out to Maroon Music. Shout out to DangerousNegro.com. I'm going to let y'all know more about that. Y'all going to see about that soon. Shout out to, uh, of course, my my, 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 other, my other heart, Soul by the Man. Um, shout out to Real Profit. Shout out to my people in New Orleans. Shout out to my mentor, Truth Universal. I want to shout out to my big dog, Chuck Lyric Hill, with uh, the Sound Clash movement. Shout out to my brothers in Lafayette. Uh, Wisdom 360 as well, with wise words, hip hop in the flats, what have you. Um, so I know it's January, we just starting, but I want to give you my MVPs for, for 2010. We just started off. MVP number one, I got to give it to my man Ronnie Ma. Google Ronnie Ma, you can find him all over the internet. He's being himself, he's not studying, he understands every, like, you, you see a full out ratchet concert, people jigging or whatever. And next thing you know, you see Ronnie Ma performing at that time. He's not performing, he's not selling his soul. I tip my hat to you, soldier. My next person I want to uh, shout out, he's my other MVP, is Lot. Lot, like myself, he's a hip-hop lyricist or what have you. We, we, we discussed a whole bunch of different ways, you know what I'm saying, we can get to the game. He told me, man, live music is the best. Being the smart brother that he is, he came together, he did, the, uh, he, he, you know, he, he met a uh, different uh, group of musicians and you know, various talented people and form La La. Now that's probably not a venue in the city that he ain't performed in. Mm -hmm. And they gig all the time. See like that's being smart. He's not playing the game. He's he's creating his own lane and making the game come to him. So shout out to La. Last but not least, I'ma shout out to the up and comers, people who I know that's about to about to blaze it. First, I got shout out my favorite MC in the city, Lil One the Champ. Dude is nasty. Like the authenticity, the flow, the skills, the heart he puts into it, and the brother's like 22, 23 years old. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Lil Wayne Champ. Next, I got a shout out to the brother James Jackson, another young brother, 21, 22 years old. Lyricist, plain and simple. Like you almost think that'll make MCs like this no more. No, 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 no additives. Straight up hip hop, straight up MC. Last but not least, the youngest soldier out of them all, Luke St. John. 20 years old, put on the best live show I've seen in years, as far as it pertains to being a local hip hop artist, you know what I'm saying? Y'all watch out for these brothers. Where Maroon Music is, what Soul By Demand is, you're gonna see them and vice versa. Hopefully, you know, we're making music. It's, 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 it's all about the love and all about making Baton Rouge a place, like cultivating hip hop culture. You know me, I'm out here, I help anybody I can. I done help people put their publishing together and, Put up on both gigs, you know. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm here for. I'm gonna give you my contact information before I go. 
My cell phone is area code 580-504-2559. You can look me up face on Facebook, Marcel P. Black. Um, follow me on Twitter, at Marcel P. Black. Uh, catch me on Bandcamp, uh, marcelpblack.bandcamp.com. Um, I'm around. I always got CDs. Anytime hip hop is in Baton Rouge, Marcel P. Black would be there. These are my black thoughts. One love.